Well, the German Chancellor, as you know, traveled this weekend to the GCC looking to shore up additional gas supplies for his economy. Now, the Chancellor secured just one shipment of LNG from the UAE with a non-binding agreement for more. And I spoke exclusively yesterday to the UAE's Minister for Climate Change and Environment to ask her about that. Let's listen to what she had to say. We started the whole solar journey, I think it was about 16, 17 years ago, where we started investing heavily in solar um, energy. And today, when we've spent $40 billion in the country, about just under $20 billion in over 70 countries outside, we're now at a solar cost of 1.32 kilowatt uh, uh, per hour. Now, that for me, if we look at that journey and that time and how much investment has gone in, you can see that this it's a journey you have to take and it's a huge investment that you have to take. But now with this, many new opportunities start. So the green hydrogen is an example. So what's really important is now that we have this knowledge and know-how that we've gained, I mean, the UAE is really going out there and we've committed uh, in June, um, His Highness said that the UAE commits also to 50 billion more dollars to be invested in renewables in the next uh, decade in the country and outside the country because we understand it's not just about the production. Yeah. It's, you've got to look at the storage. You've got to look at the network. You've got to look at the distribution. Yeah. It's such a complex network. And every country has different resources and it is at different levels. And even, even the political will is very, very different too. And we're, we're lucky that we have kind of, yeah, we tick so many boxes and we have the political will. We have the plan. We know exactly that we're, we're ramping up our renewables and clean energy sources while decarbonizing our oil and gas because for us we have the oil and gas yeah. and as long as the world needs oil and gas we're going to give it to them. Germany coming to the UAE yesterday coming and saying we are in desperate need of um, uh, gas and, and diesel can you help us in the short term so there are needs and we have to help them through this very difficult time and I understand as we from, transition from that conversation with mr schultz the chancellor of germany we're talking at this point about one shipment yes. of lng that's confirmed for this year that's right and more to come that's right that's yeah. right so so there's uh, we signed a, a landmark agreement yesterday called the energy security and industry accelerator agreement and this agreement basically looks at two aspects. It looks at the short-term needs, and it also looks at what are the future kind of projects that we'll look into. So the short-term needs, were, as you said, um, and I'm sure a lot of you saw it in the news, um, the LNG, the diesel. Um, on the long-term, let's say medium to long-term, we're looking at really um, expanding the hydrogen value chain. Uh, already a lot of work has started on that because we have the Emirati German Hydrogen Task Force and they have already shipped the first low carbon uh, ammonia, which is basically a fuel carrier of, of hydrogen. Yes. That's already, um, it already arrived in, in Hamburg and Germany and more to come. And also they're looking at things like new opportunities in offshore wind farms in, in the Baltic and the North Sea. So. This agreement is basically a list of, let me call it, lighthouse um, projects yes. that um, we want to accelerate with Germany.